Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Todoist with Notion. First thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at todoist.com if you don't already have one. Uh, and once we are here, we want to uh, go and try find the Notion among the integrations. So we have to go to the top right corner, on the, our initials, in my case it's MK, hit integrations and discover integrations. You can pick from a couple of integrations already provided, provided by Todoist, but uh, I'm afraid you won't be able to find the Notion. So what to do now? We have to go to automate.eo, for example. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And we want to hit the integrations on the top side of your screen. And on the bottom left, it's see all categories. Uh, now we can search from 200 and more apps. So we want to start with Todoist. And as you can see, once Todoist is integrated, we have to pick the counterpart, which is Notion. <clears throat> as you can see, uh, there are a few popular integrations you can pick from, but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, just scroll down and you can create your own integration. On the left side, underneath the triggers, remember to start with uh, Todoist first. Don't start with Notion. And on the right side, underneath the actions, it's quite the opposite task. You have to choose Notion. So let's go with the first from both. Now, uh, just hit it right now. You'll get redirected and just sign in to the automate. And you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, uh, where we also need to create ourselves an account and uh, go to the top left corner. As you can see, make a zap. Now uh, we can make this, uh, we can name the zap for future purposes or just go to the trigger uh, straight away, which is a step one. We're going to write down Todoist. It's very similar to uh, Automate. Uh, we want to pick the, the event. Let's go with the second one, for example. Doesn't matter in this case. Uh, we have to log into the account that we created and uh, set up a trigger. So I created the, this Todoist tutorial page just to show you how it's done. And now we can test the trigger or jump straight to the second action, uh, which is Notion like this. We click on Notion, which is an event. Let's go with this one, for example. And the last thing is we have to sign in to the, to the Notion itself. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.